The Tech Expo is being held under the theme Embracing Traditional and Non-Traditional Technology. The event showcases students' innovation and projects from technical institutions in Guyana. On display at the Expo is a proposed design for the new Demerara River Bridge. This was done by the students of the Government Technical Institute. So this is a rendition of what the students of BM2 think the, Demer the new Demerara Harbor Bridge should be like. It is a cable stay bridge where the cables are in tension and they're held up by pylons. So the road would be pulling on the cable and in uh, return the pylon would be pulling on the road. So the cable itself would be in tension and this would hold in place the curvature of the bridge itself. The curvature is put there to allow free passage of transportation and civilians at any time so there would be no opening and closing as well as the passage of ships passing on Ricardo Sarias, a student at the Ghana Industrial Training Center, built a hydraulic brake system with the assistance of his colleagues. As you can see here, this is a demonstration of a hydraulic brake system. And the simplest explanation of what this does is to slow your vehicle down until it comes to a complete halt. Chief Education Officer Dr. Marcel Hudson said while technology is being used here, there needs to be more familiarity and it is for this reason that the expo is being held. Right now we are looking at establishing what we call the education management information system where data would be fed from different schools into different areas so we could see performance of students, we could see their addresses, their names, their parents and a whole host of things. Meanwhile, Head of Management of Information Systems, Yoganan Indar Singh, said the increasing opportunity for technology use in Guyana is needed now more than ever. He noted that there are also numerous career opportunities in the field of technology. For education, we need to embrace technology education in the system. And for that, we're looking at the areas of STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and the related disciplines. Students attending the expo were also given a tour of the smart rooms and labs at the National Center for Educational Resource and Development. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Pato.